Hi guys, welcome to Tutes Online. Today I'll be talking about repeated decimals and exact ratios. We'll start with the fraction 10 over 3. If you represent this as a decimal value, it'll be 3.333, etc. If you put that in a calculator. The way we represent this is we say this is 3.3 repeater and that's usually just a dot above the decimal value that's repeating. But sometimes it's not just one decimal place that's repeating. We'll look at the fraction 9 over 11. If you put this into a calculator you'll see it's equal to 0 0.818181 etc. So we'd write this as 0 0.81 and repeater for both of them. We'll look at one last example, 22 over 7. So this would be 3.142587, then 1425.87, etc. So it has a sequence of numbers which it repeats. So we'd write this as 3.1425. 8, 7, and then we'll put a dot above there and above there, which indicates that all these keep repeating. So that's it for repeated decimals, but sometimes you want to go back, you want to go from this repeated decimal back to a fraction, and this is known as an exact ratio. To get the repeated decimal value of 0 0.6666 which is 0 0.6 repeater. To get back to the exact ratio, we'll let this equal alpha. Now if we said 10 alpha minus alpha, this would be 6.6, .6, and then you got the repeater, minus this one, which is just our original one. So you can see with this, we would cancel and you'd be left with 6 and this can be simplified to 9 alpha. Rearranging this we'd get alpha equals 6 over 9. So that means that's our exact ratio which gets to this repeated decimal. We'll look at another example. Add 0 0.12 repeater. And this is like our second one because there's two decimal places which are repeating. We'll let this equal alpha. Now because we have two, instead of times it by ten and just moving it to one decimal place higher, we'll have to move it two decimal places higher. So what I mean by that is we'll have to say 100 alpha minus alpha. So this gives us 12.12 repeater minus 0 0.12 repeater. We can get rid of the repeater and have that equal to 12. And this would just be 99 alpha. Rearranging would give us 12 over 99, which if you like could be written as 4 over 33. We'll look at one more different example. One we're given the number 9 9.9 .9 repeater. So we'll set alpha equals this. Now the method for solving this is slightly different because alpha could just be written as 99 plus our decimal value 0 0.9 repeater. But by definition 0 0.9 repeater which is 0 0.99999 is close enough to 1 so we'll just write this as 99 plus 1, and that's just 100, or 100 over 1. That's it from me. If you have any questions, place a comment in the video. Please subscribe to the channel and visit the website. Thanks.